good morning everybody whoa where did everything go <clears throat> okay good morning good morning good morning everybody uh everything just like disappeared off my screen um the link is in the chat the link is in the chat the link is in the chat uh am i moving in slow motion okay there it is it's acting right now okay the link is in the chat the link is in the chat the link is in the chat what the link is for is if anybody wants to pull up and ask a question or if they want to pull up and share anything or yeah that's it don't pull up and let no birds out of the cage um if you was on um what is this get off my screen y'all hold on for a second i really don't know what this thing is doing get off my screen get off my screen okay everything um disappeared off my screen uh okay i see we um making some moves on the es if y'all was on the um voice chat in the discord uh as you know uh we we run a little late today because i had to go meet my sweetie um uh, to help her um do some stuff in the truck she she took the truck today and um uh, the truck only likes my touch it only like my touch so i got to go you know what i'm saying the truck only like my touch but uh <laughs> i appreciate y'all for your pages i appreciate y'all for pulling up again part of my tardiness if this is your first time tuning into tim's tidbit i like to say welcome if it's not your first time tuning into tim's, tim's tidbits i still want to say welcome and i still want to give you a hearty thank you for always pulling up the tim's tidbit this means so much to me i get a chance to hang out with like-minded people every single day like yourself and talk about what the price <laughs> action dealing with the es s p if you will spy if you will you know spx if you will that's what we do i'm primarily a swing trader that swing trades the spy and sometimes i day trade the spx sometimes i day trade the spy sometimes i dabble with the es futures but i get on al gore's internet every single day by the way my name is timothy lee rogers senior and this is what is this the overnight price <sighs> action for november i mean december come on i had it right yesterday and i messed up the date december the 2nd 2022 yeah this year is gone gone man it's december the 2nd anyway like i say my name is timothy lee rogers senior i get on al gore's internet every single day once at 9 a.m east Standard time once at 6 30 p.m Eastern Standard Time, just to talk about the price action. Why do I do it? I do it in the hopes that I will help somebody get their aha moment. Like, ah, that's what it was. And this morning, I jumped on the Discord while I was on my way back from my um, morning run. I run Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I ain't going to act like I run every single day. I run Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. When I'm taking the boys to school, I drop Timothy off. I run a mile at the park across the street from his school. Then I drop Chris off. Then I come back home, and I talk to you all on Tim's Tidbits. That's my morning routine. Today, on my way back, I mean, on my run, I got a little on my watch, right? Look, uh, let me show y'all. You see, that's my sweetie right now. See, I got my sweetie on my watch. Uh-oh, it's out of focus. You know, if I tap it, it, it just go through different pictures of my sweetie. That's me and my sweetie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Tap through. Yeah. But anyway, I got a um, notification on my Apple Watch that the um, PCE numbers, I mean, uh, non-farm payroll numbers were better than expected. And I said, we're going down. Dun, dun, dun. And I know you're probably thinking, Tim, the um, people getting paid more than that everybody was expecting that's a good thing and that was the the that was the 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 premise of that prompted me to go live right well the premise is underlying that was the catalyst that prompted me to go live or not go live but jump in the voice chat on the discord and um expel a, a, a like expel my thoughts at the time is that the word i'm looking for share my thoughts at the time if you will and my thoughts were that this has been working out perfectly every like in the last it's just been so beautiful the things that we get on here and talk about every single day it's been playing out beautifully and 
I just try to point the stuff out when it's happening because we talk about it and then it happens. And sometimes you don't realize it just happened. Sometimes you'd be like, oh, man, we just talked about that. But sometimes you just miss it. And so I just want to make sure nobody missed it this morning when we have been talking about it's all about the narrative. Right. It's about the narrative. It's what the narrative is. It has nothing to do with our desires. It has nothing to do with our feelings. It had nothing to do with our wants. It's about the narrative. Right now, the narrative is the Fed want the economy to slow down. Right. They want the economy to slow down. The 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 businesses are booming. The um non-farm payroll is booming. The jobless, the jobless claims are down. That means more people are going back to work. Less people are filing for unemployment for the first time. That's what the numbers are every week we get. That shows us how many people are filing for unemployment for the first time, right? Those numbers was going down. So that means the, the jobs were good. The Fed want the market, the, the economy to slow down. They want to slow down, but the economy isn't despite the fed has raising rates raising rates raising rates at a most expedited rate the economy is not really slowing down right it's slowing down a little bit right inflation has seemed to peak in the summer it seemed to have peaked in the summer it's slowing down but it's still not slowing at the pace that the fed won't so when that happens now the algos and the powers that be are like, oh my God, it's still not slowing down as much as the Fed want. So the Fed may stay aggressive. They may, instead of slowing the um interest rate hikes, they may keep the pace up. They may go another 75. They may even put 1% on the table. They they're it's like, oh my God. So we're at the point where good news is bad because we we want. We don't necessarily want bad news, but we don't want great news either, right? Shout out to homie Zay. If y'all was on Zay Live last night, he was talking about how we need that number to be not too good, but not too bad, right? That's what we needed. Um, it, it's like, and, and then we got a number that was just higher than expected. I didn't look at the number. I, I don't know what the number was, but I just saw it pop up on my watch saying that it was higher than expected. And I was like, we go and down. How far down do we go? I don't know. And then I opened up my um, Think or Swim app on my phone when I got done with my run and I saw a big red candle. Right. I'm hoping we go get that daily uh, fair value gap that we made when we took off to the upside. When Roman Rome was talking, he was saying and he was whispering sweet nothings in our ear. He said, yeah, baby, I'm going on. We going to think about that 50 point basis hike in December, baby. We think about slowing our rate hikes as early as December, baby. Yeah, I know you want to hear it from me. That's what I'm giving you, baby. And we just took off. You know what I'm saying? He was whispering sweet nothings in our ear. You hear me? And then today, here come the numbers to wake us up from our <laughs> moist dream. <laughs> Hey man, hey, who in the chat, man? Let's all oh, see my sweet in the chat. What's up, baby? How you doing? What's going on? Um, uh, what's say? What SJ say? What she said? What SJ say? I finally watched Lingo. I found my notes from the first spy slash future video. It is so much easier to follow my notes. Thank you, Tim. You're the MVP. I appreciate that, SJ. I appreciate that. Um, speaking of SJ, what's up, SJ? Hey, y'all. What's up, TK? Cool it now. Hey, watch out. What's up, cool it? What's going on? Here to learn and share. You up in here. You in here with the bird. Are the birds out there? I'm late today, but the birds still out there. They ain't singing no more. They eating breakfast. But good morning to you. The birds are Eating breakfast. <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. What's up, Coolio? Get Coolio. <laughs> Coolio, what you sipping on? You sipping and smoking? What's up, Coolio? What's up, lover? What's going on, Sanjay? What's good, my guy? Yes, yes. Celebrate SJ. SJ says it's easy to follow them notes. 
Uh, not the beer wife. <laughs> uh, I know it was only lingo, but baby, that's it. Baby steps, baby steps. Once you, and once you get the lingo down, it like that. Like I was telling my son the other day, he was like, he he know how to play the um on his clarinet. He like, I was like, do you play a major or minor? He's like, we only play in major. I only know the major scales. I say, do you know all 12 major scales? He's like, yes, sir. I said, well, if you know all 12 major scales, you know all 12 minor scales. And he was like, what? Why Why you say we never studied that? I said, well, the secret is if you know the major scale, right? Whatever note is the sixth note, right? Whatever note is the sixth note. If you start on the sixth note and then play all the six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, you just play the minor scale because it's the exact, like the sixth note is the relative minor. Just like in the key of C, you got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, right? And then it come back to C. A is the sixth note. So if you start on A, you go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you just play the scale of A minor and because it's the relative minor of C and every scale is just like that. And he was like, really? I was like, yes. So if you know all 12 major, you know all 12 minor and you in there. So if you understand the lingo, that's all you need. You just need to learn how to go look for it. That's why I keep telling you, you already know, but you don't know, you know. It's a whole lot of stuff you already know, but when you get that aha moment, you're going to be like, ha, ha, ha. taste the soup. I said, okay. he came on, I said, taste the soup. He's like, what's wrong with soup? Is soup too cold? I said, taste the soup. Yeah, come on, just taste the soup. What's it, too, it's too hot. Is it not cold? It, I said, taste the soup. Said, okay, you want me to taste soup? Hey, wait, wait, how you going to give me the spoon? Where the spoon? Ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. You need that spoon, baby. Yeah, hear me. What's up, Seawalk? I don't even understand how my C walk. Walk. What's up, C walk? What's going on? You're very welcome, SJ. Every steps count. Bobby Brown said every little step I take. Y'all know we hit it on the shell. Got money because she put up on um, red feet on there. Mean red bottoms. Red bottoms mean you got money on. Yeah, feel me. Who has the spoon? <sighs> Buenos Diaz Valdez. How are you? How are you? Uh, let's get into it, man. We 12 minutes in. We ain't did nothing. Oh, yeah. I do all this for the free 99. I think I missed all that right there. Hit the like button. All that right there because I ain't on no social media telling people about this. So if you like it, that means the algo is going to think you like it. Then the algo is going to show it to somebody else and then they can get this information for the free 99. Speaking of information for the free 99, if you go to share the screen, if you go to the link in the description to the video that you're watching right now, Right, Tim's tidbit live. If you go to the um description right over here, there's a first link says watch I see watch the new ICT concepts explain lingo playlist. Right. If you go to that playlist, there's eight videos, and it's me just breaking down the lingo that you need to understand to be able to trade ICT's concepts. This is not me saying I made this up. If you look at the videos, I give full credit to um, Michael, AKA ICT on every video. And I tell you to go watch his video to get the real understanding of it. But I give it to you the way he say it. Then I give it to you the way I understand it. And then I show it to you. I try to keep it in nice, small bite-sized chunks. And then this is the first part of a three-part series the lingo, then it's going to be the price section where we go find it in price section. Then it's going to be the strategy section where we find out how to use them in strategies, putting together the lingo, putting together finding in price section and putting together where we want, whether we want to buy or sell based off our strategy. That's going to be the series in totality, right? And if you go to any of the videos in the playlist and go into the description, you will see a link that says, well, the second link says support my son music. Click on that link and support my son. Listen, stream my son music. Stream it. He does very well. He's a 15-year-old savant. He sits over there in that room that I let him use until he finds his way, and then he makes this music. So go support him. Now, if you click on this link right here, it, say, it leads you to a Google Drive folder where you can download all of the slides for all of the videos. You can download them and follow along. You can download them and write notes on them. You can download them for memorabilia. I don't care what you do with them, but it's free. So download them. They're out there. 
And then if you um go to the other link, the second link in the description of the video that you're watching right now, it says, watch the new gems from the live stream playlist. If you click on that, this, excuse me, this is a, a, a playlist of videos where I take chunks out of the live. If I go into detail about something and I'll be like, hmm, that'd be a good little chunk for somebody to come back and watch later. We dropped the gym just then. Or if while we're on the live, if I'm going really deep into something and you find yourself taking notes and be like, man, I want to come back and watch this. Say, hey, Tim, that's a gym. Can you cut that out and put it in the list so I can go right directly to it and I don't have to try to skim through this live with you running your mouth and joking with Robinson and all them other people where I could just get to the meat and potatoes? I, it would be in this playlist right here. So, but you got to do it on the live. Don't come back and read, watch the video later and be like, hey, Tim, can you? No. On, if you're on the live and you drop it in the chat and say, hey, that's a gem, please cut that out and put it in the list. I will put it in this playlist right here. That's what that's for. Just trying to make it better for the cousins for the free 99. Because as y'all know, I've paid a lot of money and a little bit of money for courses. And every course that I paid for, I already knew everything that was in the course. The only thing the course did was help me see that other people were seeing the same thing that I saw. And I paid a lot of money for some of these courses. I paid like $4,500 for, for some of these courses. And I paid $900 for some of these courses. And I paid $100 for some of these courses. And I paid $600 for some of these courses. And y'all get where I'm going with that. Y'all get where I'm going with that. <laughs> all right what's up randa green um i came in late but i used to play the piano and i never knew how to figure out the minor chords now you have to do a gym <laughs> gym for the musicians hey hey i used to play the keys pretty good i just play the keys pretty good. hey let me tell y'all a quick story before we get started right the other night y'all know it's my sweetie birthday right and so she was like, we took out the dinner, did that. She was like, just on cloud nine. What would have been nice? She said, it would have been uh, cool if you would have played happy birthday for me on your clarinet. And he was like, oh, well, I, got, I have to learn it first. I don't know happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Right. He was like, I would have to learn it. And then she was like, um, oh, you can just look up the sheet music for it. And I was like, well, if he look up the sheet music, he got to look up the sheet music for a B flat instrument, like because he played a clarinet and it's got, you know, what I'm saying the clarinet is a real instrument. So you got the it's got to be, the sheet music got to be in the key in like a pitch to his clarinet. It's got to be concert pitched as they call. I learned that from him. Concert pitched, Right. And so we just sitting around. And then while we sitting at the table, me and Clem sitting at the table, Chris, he got up from the table. He walked away. And then like a minute, minute and a half later. Me and Clint just hear do 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 and we we ran back in the room and she was like oh that was so I was like man that was amazing I thought you ain't know how to play it and he was like oh I just looked up the sheet music online and he was looking at his phone while he was playing I was like oh so you I was like oh so y'all sight reading he's like yeah we've been sight reading for like the last two years I was like you did really good on that he's like yeah you just get it and you read it for like thirty seconds and then you just play and I was like man that was amazing and she was like oh that was so good that was amazing that was it now that's not the point of the story let's go back way back in time to when little timmy rogers used to play the keys now i can't sight read i don't know how to sight read right i don't even know how to play by ear right i have to learn the song and i got to get familiar with my hands moving on the keys right i can't i can't play by ear i can't sight read once i learn the song I can play the stank out of it, right? So, Calandra used to always sing, um, I'll be a groupie, baby, because you are my superstar. I'm your number one fan. I used to always sing that song to me, right? So, I called her back here one day. I done learned how to play the song, right? I'm back here playing the song. I'm playing the song and singing to her, right? When I get done, I stumbled once or twice, but when I get done, she was like, she was, I, she was looking at me with this blank look. And I was like, she was like, 
oh, okay. I was like, okay. She was like, yeah, that ain't, that, I mean, that ain't nothing. I expect you to be able to do that. I was like, that ain't nothing. I mean, I put in hard work. She's like, oh, no, I, I don't mean it like that. I don't mean, I don't mean that ain't nothing, but I expect you to, to, I expect you to do stuff like this. Now. When her son does it, oh, that was just so beautiful. I just, but when her husband does it, okay, well, that ain't nothing new. I expect you, I expect you to be able to figure out how to play a song for me. I don't, you know, okay. Oh, oh I'm sorry, baby. Yeah, I loved it. Y'all see what I deal with? <laughs> look, look at that. I, I know where this story about to go. You, you see what I'm saying? You, you see what I'm saying? I know what this story about to go. <laughs> Look at her. It made her heart melt when I was talking about her son. Proud parents. You know what I'm saying? But then, but then when I tell the truth, <laughs> she didn't mean it like that. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me tell my side of the story. <laughs> hey, man. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Hey. I, um. Yeah, I shared my thoughts that I shared on Discord because I said just because I made the Discord don't mean I will not never share anything in the Discord that I don't share on YouTube. I just want to keep myself honest. I shared my thoughts on um, the good news being bad news right now. Let's um go ahead and get into it. Let's look at Spileen while we on Al Gore's Internet. Um, for people who don't know, we got a friend named Spileen. We wrote a song for it. Want to hear it? Here it go. Spileen, Spileen, where you at, baby? Here I go. Hey, how you doing? I'm glad that you can't. Oh, we still going down. We go when down. We opened up, we pushed up, and we pushed back down. Okay. Um, since the market already opened, we ain't going to. Do no speculating on Spileen. Um, I can see we came back down to this daily mitigation block right here. We're very close to the um, weekly equilibrium, but we're right now. We gap down and opened up right at pretty much the top of the daily. Like, see right here when I was talking about you got this little box right here, a box, this little candle right here, and it was engulfed inside the big candle. So I used the beefier candle, right? If you notice, we came down and where we opened up at, boom, we was right there inside that little candle, which in turn is inside the big candle. But the big candle is has more girth. Pause. Is be oh my sweetie trying to pull up. What you talking <laughs> about? I can't hear you, baby. You're muted. Am I muted? Oh, there you go. I hear you. I hear you. Uh -oh. What's up? So first of all, hey everybody, and <laughs> I apologize to interrupt. The fair value gas, the overnight price action review, and all that good stuff. But let me tell my side of the story. <laughs> so tell my your side, side. My side of the story is I was impressed and I was very appreciative and I was very grateful. But what had happened was, as many of you guys know, my husband is very, very smart. He's very, very talented. He is a jack of all trades. So when he did it, it wasn't that I wasn't impressed. I wasn't shocked because he is just good at everything that he does. I was very grateful of the song, though, babe. <laughs> hey, let me take a moment to brag on my wife for a minute. I'm, <laughs> I'm on my Obama right now. Look at how beautiful this female is right here. You better Aww. make him eat cake, baby. Look no, at it. Wait a minute now. I was intentional not to do the low angle like, uh, who was it, Michelle? Yeah. <laughs> Michelle I Tucker. Look, I was intentional to do the up angle because I was I, I ain't trying to make him eat cake today. Man, up, down, <laughs> side to side, anything. You beautiful, baby. Look at look at this thing right here. I'll oh. be your groupie, baby. Cause you are my superstar. You better make him eat cake out there, girl. <laughs> it's okay. Where you at? I see some people walking behind you. Where you at? I'm in the grocery pickup line. Oh, or, you still at the store? I'm what store you went to? I'm at Walmart. I told you I had to go to Walmart. I was at Sam's. Now I'm at Walmart. I'm saying you're still in Columbus. Yes. Oh, I thought you just had to get some chairs. I'm at. Bye. So you go to. Uh, <laughs> <your show>. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Good morning. Spider Game. Uh, Y'all have a good day and happy trading. All right. <laughs> uh, Jalapaz for that, y'all. I Jalapaz. Let's get back. What was I saying? Uh, 
what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. Anyway, oh yeah, we came down to the um uh oh we kind of we kind of erratic now because it's just now when I before she came on, it was way down here night and pushed all the way back up there. We um we up and down, up and down. But anyway, we gap down right to the um the top of this mitigation block, um, real close to the weekly equilibrium. Right now, we're um pushing back up. It's like kind of erratic right now, up and down, up and down. Let's go look at the real price action. As you see, we have um on the spot before we go there, we are in uh on the daily frame time frame. We already bust out the bottom of the box. We gapped outside the bottom of the box, right? After the news counter came out, it pushed us way, way down, down, down. And so it made us gap outside the bottom of the daily box, right? This was the daily low from yesterday. We gapped well outside of that down to the um, mitigation block that we had marked out. Um, coming really close back to because we got the wax on of this full gap down right here, this bearish gap, right? We got the wax on by going back up. We coming back down. If we come all the way back down to trade through it, that'll give us the wax off on the daily level. If we get a wick, a daily wick or a daily body through this right here, that'll give us the wax off. And that little full gap right there will be fully balanced out. Um, Let's see how this play out. If we, if we, go stagnant for the rest of the day or if we continue to melt off or if we push all the way back up and um prevent it being a full gap right it would be nice to push all the way back up and touch that low to prevent it from being a full gap that would be nice i would like that then we could go ahead um next week and push down like monday and tuesday and fill in this fair value gap and then start to push back up you know what I'm saying? Start to, you know, push off that Santa rally. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, remember before when I was saying the longer we slide to the right, this right here will start to become support. So then we can come down next week, fill in this fair value gap, maybe run sale side, boop, run sale side, and then take off. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I like to come down, get the sale side, liquidity tie before taking off. So, you know what I'm saying? The longer we slide to the right, the most sell side going to be sitting up under this consolidation. Then we can come down, run sell side, and then ping out. You know what I'm saying? Ping out. Go. And then if we don't, like, we ain't take out this high yet, right? I doubt if we're going to get this high today. I don't see us getting that high today. So now that gives us more reason to come back down here, take care of these gaps right here, right? touch that equilibrium and then go on back up and then and then that'll give the the dow time to cool off you see what i'm saying that if we pull back on the es pull back on the um nq a little bit that'll get a dow time to cool off and then run some sell side liquidity to try to catch back up with the um with the um nq called the nq ran lows and it went up and ran highs so now that the nq done ran highs i would like for the nq to come back down to at least equilibrium from running those lows and highs and then proceed back up so while the nq coming back down to equilibrium the dow can cool off the es can come back down and then go boom take off for the dick like zay said you know what i'm saying I think this the start of the Santa rally here. Like, I believe this started the Santa rally. Hey, let's start the Santa rally. Let's go ahead and get some sales out liquidity Bang out, and take off. Now let's go look at overnight price. <laughs> Action. Okay. Um, oh, we getting back up into this fair value gap, moving back to the uh, we almost back at the low, the ES low from yesterday. I see we um Oh man, check that out. You know what I just noticed, right? You know what I just noticed? Let me show you what I just noticed. On the news calendar yesterday, right? We ran sell side and buy side. We had talked about that. Um, we had talked about that yesterday, right? We ran sell side and buy side, cleared the table. Um, on the um on the um news calendar right we cleared the table ran buy side and sell side but look at the price action right look at the price action 
after we cleared the table, remember, I, remember we said yesterday we were just hovering right here, right? Where are we hovering? We're hovering right there around equilibrium, right? We're hovering right around because from there, from that high to that low, this dotted white line, that's the equilibrium, right? We're hovering right around equilibrium, right? But before we even made this high and low, we were hovering in that exact same spot, right? We were hovering in that exact same spot. So yesterday when I was talking about it, I was saying we were hovering at yet at the close remember i was like we were hovering i was like we was because the close was here at um 4082 right and when i put my cursor right there on 4082 you notice the line lines up all the way across from the cursor to the equilibrium line right so we were hovering right we were hovering right around yesterday's close but yesterday's close was I mean, day before yesterday's close, we was hovering around, but day before yesterday's close was yesterday's equilibrium. Can't nobody tell me the computers ain't doing this. Who else besides a computer will know I need to go up this high, stop, go down this low, stop. So that the equilibrium, the mean threshold, the point where I want to be when the GDP numbers come out. I want to be at level playing field, not the GDP, the non-farm payroll numbers come out. I want to be at level playing field, not long nor short when these numbers come out so I can decide which way to go if the information is good or bad. I want to be at equilibrium. Look at that. We set a high and a low, right, which put it right in line with the prior day's close. So from the time I closed, right, on this day, right, to the equilibrium of the next day, right, to the time when the news come out, I want to be in the exact same spot. I want to do everything. In one day, I want to have an all and nothing day, and I want to sit at the price from the all day so I can make my decision if I want to continue up or continue down based off what the what the value of X is. Man, if you can't, you can't, you can't buy this nowhere, man. You got to sit in front of these charts to see this. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? If, if if you don't believe it's an algorithm, hey, you ain't got to believe it. But look at this right here. Look, this is stuff we talked about now. Ain't no hindsight right. We talked about this. We talked about we had a everything and nothing day. Did we not talk about that? Yes, we did, Tim. Then yesterday I said, hey, we just consolidated around the prior day's close. We didn't do too much. We ran both sides of the table and then we just consolidated around the prior day's close in front of the non-farm payroll numbers. The market looks a little heavy, but I can't I can't do nothing. We in front of non-payroll, you know what I'm saying? And what did the algos do? The algos said, I want to stay in the same place where I was when I took off, so when these numbers come out on Friday, I want to decide if I go up or down. You're right. Yes, you're right. And then when the numbers came out, look at that. When the numbers came out, we were at this calendar right here. Close this calendar right here opened at uh 408075. Equilibrium was 4082. Right. That's a point and a quarter, a point and a quarter away from equilibrium, close enough for government work. When the news came out, the algos ain't like it. I'm going down. I'm going. I can't make this stuff up. I can't make this stuff up. And 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 we we see it, we seeing it live day to day, every day. This is why I do what I do, so that people who not quite sure about if the stuff that they studying, if this ICT stuff work, this is the kind of stuff that you see day to day. You may not have the time to sit in front of the charts and look at it like me. You may not be comfortable and like, you know what I'm saying? Like your, your, 
your 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 um observation of it yet but this is why I do what I do to help people get the aha moment. When you see it in living color, when you start to see it over and over, like you may be sitting there like, Tim, I wouldn't have never noticed that because you don't sit in front of the charts like I do every day. And, and, and it, just like when you were a kid, the first time you learned how to ride a bike, you were so proud. When your mom and your daddy out there teach you how to ride, you were still a little wobbly. You know what I'm saying? But af after you did it, for about two, three years, you learn how to ride with no hands. You was all excited. Hey, look, my no hands. Oh, look, my no hands. You know what I'm saying? The more you did it, the more comfortable you came with it, the better you can got at it. You know what I'm saying? The more you look at these charts, the more you see it over and over, the more it's gonna make sense. Then you're gonna then it's all about just working on your discipline and 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 not chasing stuff and not FOMOing and not can't nobody change you. You got to work on you, like me. I see T. Nobody will change you. You got to work on you, but trust the concepts. Trust the stuff. It works, man. It works. That's all I want to say. Uh, overnight price action. We just um after we closed, we um came down a little bit and then um pushed back up to equilibrium. Came back to equilibrium. Sat at equilibrium until um the news dropped. And when the news dropped, we fell off. Matter of fact, we opened up the midnight at 4073 or 4074, um, close enough. 4075, we opened up the um, London. So you can see prices in a tight range. It's in a tight range. Pushed up to equilibrium. The new the numbers dropped. Algos didn't like it. We pushed down. We filled in um, the fair value gap that we um, had came down to. During the news candle yesterday, we blew through this mitigation block. Um, you can get on off my screen. You out of there. We came all the way down and we filled in the hourly fair value gap. Now we've got the wax on and wax off and because we traded through it. We got a wick through it on an hourly and we got another wick through it on another hourly. So that's rebalanced. That's a rebalanced fair value gap there. You're out of there. We came down to equilibrium on the weekly um box this is the weekly low box right here at um third they say 3940 that's the week was that 3940 hold up nope that wasn't am i on the box i mean a line yeah 3940 39 39 75 so 3940 is the bottom of the box and then the top of the box is right here at this daily and weekly top that's this week's high at 4110 right so we've come down into equilibrium for the weekly push back up to the breaking market structure right there at yesterday's low We That was the breaking market structure. We pushed back up to the breaking market structure on the hourly and we're um, kind of testing that. We're kind of testing that. We still got a four hour fair value gap below the one that we just rebalanced and another hourly fair value gap below that one. That will fill in this liquidity void right here that we made. On that takeoff from yesterday, we got this huge liquidity void. We got one, two, three, four hour candles just only offering buy side. So we missing sell side. So um, all the way down to here has been the sell side has been re-offered on this part of the liquidity void. So we still got one fair value gap um, from, from this candle's high all the way up to um, this right here this fair value gap right there that's the last piece of the liquidity void that we got to fill in so um yeah again i would love to see us come down run this um weekly low hit this order block and then take off maybe even get down into my perfect scenario would be to get all the way down to um the monthly equilibrium before we take back off I ain't gonna hold you that would be my perfect scenario for um next week even if we had to sell off the whole week that would be my perfect scenario to get all the way back down to this equilibrium monthly equilibrium box and this mitigation blocks um block mitigation block down here on the daily before taking back off that's the overnight price hexion i'm not gonna drop down to 15 minute because it ain't you know it wasn't a whole lot it just just kind of dilly dallied around got back up to equilibrium and then sold off I will go to 15 minute just to see where we at. We're um, like I said, we back at the breaking market structure, very close to it. We didn't actually get there, but we're very close to it. 
um trying to get back in and um let me see if we already hit the mean threshold of this um fair value gap yes we're right at the mean threshold of this fair value gap and we're react we reacted to the mean threshold of this 15 minute fair value gap right here that we made right right there is, do i got that on the bottom make sure i got that on the bottom yes i do got it on now all right so we're right at the mean threshold of this 15 minute fair value gap right there and we reacted to it uh pushed back down a tad bit um hopefully we come back up and kind of feel this in you know just not not i, don't, I really don't want it to melt all the way off today you know what i'm saying it'd be nice just to you know come back up and like feel this back in don't 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 melt off too much just let it be kind of like a nothing day but give us a prelude to next week of what the market really want to do you know what i'm saying don't be like no melt off day let's just you know what i'm saying let's just kind of dilly dally you know what i'm saying and then next week you know push up a little bit and then sell off and go down and take care of that other stuff let's see what the weekly calendar look like Let's see what the weekly calendar look like for this week so far. Then I'm going to go see what y'all talk about in the chat. Okay. Got a long, we got a long wick on the top and the bottom. Let me hide all this stuff so I can really see the candle. Yes, we got a long wick on the top and the bottom. Of the weekly candle thus far yeah stones throw away from the um highs that we've been watching on the monthly level right stones throw away from that yeah yeah let's do that let's not melt off too much let's just close it out there then next week come up and give us a you know what I'm saying? Like a, a sell down, maybe even come back down to what we was talking about, the, the middle of this um order block right here. When we was talking about that order block was lining up with the daily order block. It was line, it was lining up with so I can't remember exactly what we talked about, but it was lining up with some stuff that was like a good spot to come back to and take off. Cause I remember we looked at this and when we went lower, it was lining up with like the lower time frame with like the daily order blocks or breakers or something it was lining up with so yeah that'd be nice come back down there and then we santa rally our um our buttocks off that's all i got man let's go let me go to the chat and see what y'all talk about drawing objects go to the chat and see what y'all talk about what y'all talking about what y'all talking about <laughs> what y'all talking about put this on 15 minutes while we chop, chop, chop it up, chop, chop, chop it up. Uh, good morning, Marion. What had happened was <laughs> she said, "What's up, Ariel? Black love, yes, sir. I love my, I love my Sweden. Make them eat cake, yeah, hear yeah, me. Uh, you two are beautiful. Thank you, Laverne." What's up, Stacks? What's happening? Spies pushing up. Yeah, coming back up. It's, oh, that thing started dumping right then. Yep, push back up to the mean threshold of that um, fair value gap. Right there. Came back up to the mean threshold. Let me see if it's the mean threshold on the hourly. Oh, that's the 15 minute. That's the one we just looked at. Yeah, so that's it came back up to that mean threshold and pushed back down. Um, Got a small fair value gap here. Got a 15 minute order block down there. See if we come back down here to this fair value gap or this order block and try to push back up and get the rest of this. Let's see how it go. If you already made money this week, don't give none back, please. What's going on, Kareem? Straight math and science. That's it, man. That's all it is. <laughs> you need to talk to the crystal ball. <laughs> what you need the crystal ball to tell you? The crystal ball say we're going to go up and down. <laughs> That's what the crystal ball say. We're going to go up and down. You feel me? 
Hey, man. I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me, man. I appreciate y'all for um, pulling up like y'all do. Um, we gonna um, we gonna go ahead and call it, man. We gonna go ahead and call it. I'm kind of hungry. About to eat me some breakfast. I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. I ran today and I ain't, I ain't, all I had was one bottle of water, so I'm kind of thirsty. <clears throat> um, I thought I bought a, I did. I got a little bottle. I got a half a bottle in my pocket. <laughs> Hey, I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me. Um, shout out to all the day one gang gang people. I appreciate y'all. Y'all um y'all inspired me to keep doing this because y'all always pulling up with the um with the good information. Y'all always pulling up showing love. Y'all always pulling up with the banter. Y'all know I like the banter. If for anybody who don't know. Little Timmy Rogers loved the banter. I like to go back and forth. I ain't got no time to be like serious all the time, man. Life too short to just be all serious all the time. It's all about positive energy. I like the back and forth banter. Um, I like to I like to stay lighthearted about stuff. I, I can get serious when it's time to get serious, but when it comes to you know what I'm saying stuff like this, I just like to stay lighthearted and have fun with it, man. And I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate all of y'all. Um if you're going to trade, please trade safe. If you're not going to trade, please take copious notes so you can go back and study what you saw today. Hopefully, um, if you haven't been able to see it, hopefully uh, over the last couple of weeks, you've been able to, you know what I'm saying, see the stuff that we've been talking about before it happened and you see it develop. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all a game of probabilities. You know, what I'm saying nobody knows exactly what it's going to do. It's all a game of what's the what's the most probable scenario, right? You get you try to get in tune with algos and you look for the most probable scenario, right? And it's like I hope you've been able to see the market doing the most probable scenarios over the past couple of weeks. Everything that we've talked about before stuff happened, you know, what I'm saying it's been transpiring, you know. And, you know, some people want to tout, oh, I only I only call it one way in and do what I say. Hey, that ain't me. I just come out here and be like, hey, look here, man. You know, it's most probable that it's going to do this. It, it, it's most probable that it's going to do that. I don't care about being right. I don't care about being wrong. I care about making money and losing money. And I care about helping, you know what I'm saying, people like you understand this price action. And I do it for the free 99 because I want you to take your money, put it in your brokerage account. And when you feel comfortable enough to go live, execute and let your money make you money, man. I'll see y'all tonight at all. Uh, what you say? Thank you. See you tonight if you come. On. Yeah, I'll be on now. Uh, what you say? Thank you so much for all you do. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad you learned it. I'm learning too. We learn something every day, man. I learn something every day. I'll see y'all tonight at 6 30 for the um, price action recap. Um, until then, y'all be safe, trade safe, and enjoy whatever you're doing. If you at work right now listening to me, I salute you. That was me. I was sitting at work listening to people too. I salute you. Some people just they don't want to stop, they don't want to quit their job. Me, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to work for anybody anymore. That was my story. Some people love their career, they love what they do. They just looking for some uh 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 Looking for supplemental income. I salute you. Do what you do. Do what you want to. Do it, everyone. See y'all tonight at 630, man, for the price action recap. I'm gone.